Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I'm going to show you how to do division on paper, which is something that a lot of people are afraid of because they never understood the rules. So you might say, well, what, why are we learning to do this when we can use calculators? And the reason for that is because if you use your calculator all the time, you basically lose the ability to do something without it and it's a bit of a frightening concept in my opinion but anyway let's give it a go so if you divide a number for example let's say 10 divided by 2 right what you do is you look at the number that you're dividing by you look at the number 10 and you look at it one column at a time okay so you think to yourself does the number 2 go into the number one no it doesn't so let's skip the first column and then you look at the second column does the number two go into the number ten right and the answer is yes so you write five at the top so two times five is ten and what is the remainder ten minus ten is zero so that's the answer the answer is five this number five is the answer and this number down the bottom is the remainder so what does this uh, represent? This represents that 10 divided by 2 equals 5 or you can also say 10 equals 2 times 5 right so that's what you have worked out. Let's try another one divide 42 by 2 okay now looking at the first column on the left so 2 times 2 is equal to 4 so 2 times 2 is 4 4 minus 4 is nothing so don't worry about it now let's bring down the second column so bring this number down so 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 0 so again we finished so 42 divided by 2 is equal to 21 All right, 21 is the answer now what happens if we can't finish dividing so for example if I say 41 divided by try another one try 3 okay 3 times 1 is 3 4 minus 3 is 1 okay now let's bring down the 1 okay 3 times 3 is 9 and 11 minus 9 is 2 Right, and now we have nothing left so what do we do well we can either finish here and say 41 divided by 3 is equal to 13 remainder 2 right if you want to write it out like that or you can say 41 equals 3 times 13 plus 2 right because 3 times 13 is 30 9 plus 2 is 41 now you also have another option to keep going okay so you can put a decimal point here after the 41 put a zero down here and this decimal point will line up with your answer so you put a decimal point in your answer as well and then because you've added another zero after the decimal point you can bring the zero down to the bottom and now you think to yourself, 3 times what is smaller than 20? 3 times uh, 6. So 3 times 6 is 18. Alright, 3 times 6 is 18. So what is left? Uh, we got 20 minus 18, which is 2. Alright, and then you can make another 0. You can add as many zeros as you want after the decimal point right because it all means the same thing so you can keep putting zeros down if you want because it's 41 point infinite number of zeros so you put three times now I'm gonna bring down another zero so I'm gonna bring down this zero all right this zero came from here so tw three times six is 18 and then it just keeps going forever so you can see the the answer is going to be 41 divided by 30 the answer is going to be 13.6 recurring okay so I'm gonna get you guys to do one try it out okay let's try 63 divided by 5
Okay, let's try it out. Okay, what's the answer? So 5 times 1 is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. Bring down the 3. 5 times 2 is 10. 13 minus 10 is 3. Okay, so you can either stop here and say 63 divided by 5 equals uh, 12 remainder 3. All right, or you can keep going with it. So put a point zero and bring down the zero. So you can say five times six is thirty, and that's it. Remain to zero. So sixty-three divided by five is actually equal to twelve point six, and there's nothing after that. Okay, now let's move on to double-digit numbers. How exciting! So let's do. 205 divided by a uh, nice and easy one, 20. Okay, so you got to think to yourself, okay, does 20 fit into 2? No, it doesn't. So let's look at the next two numbers. Uh, let's look at two numbers at once. 20, does 20 go into 20? Yes, so put 1. So 20 times 1 is 20. There's nothing left. 20 minus 20, there's nothing left. Uh, bring down the 5. Okay, does 20 go into 5? No. So the answer is 205 divided by 20. The answer is 10 remained uh, 5. Or you can say 205 equals 20 times 10 plus 5. Right, because 20 times 10 is 200 plus 5 is 205. But you can also keep going. So I'm going to put a decimal point here, put another zero after it. So bring down the zero. 20 times uh, 20 times 2 is 40. And 50 minus 40 is 10. Put another zero there, just about finished. Bring down this zero. So 20 times 5 is 100. 100 minus 100 is nothing. So that's the answer. 205 divided by 20 equals 10.25. All of these three statements are correct. Okay, I hope this helps you guys with uh, multiple uh, division with multiple numbers. Let's try this. Let's try 1024 divided by 60. If you can do that, you should be fine. Okay, so try it out and then come back when you're done. Okay, 60, does 60 go into 10? No. Does 60 go into 102? Yes. How many? 1. So 60 times 1 is equal to 60. 102 minus 60, what is left? Well, 2, times, two minus 0 is 2. Uh, 10 minus 6 is 4. So 42 is left. Bring down this 4. Okay, now you're going to think, 60 times what is 424? Well, let's try 7. 0 times 7 is 0, 6 times 7 is 42. So again, uh, let's do a minus, so 4 minus 0 is 4. So you can either stop here, 1024 divided by 60 equals 17, remainder 4. Or you can keep going. Point zero. Bring down the zero. No, it doesn't fit. So point zero. Bring down another zero. Four hundred. Okay. Does it fit? Well, sixty times uh, uh, six. So zero times six is zero. Six times six is thirty-six. And again, we bring down the uh, zero minus zero is zero. 10, 10 minus 6 is 4, uh, so 40 again. So you can see a pattern, right? So that's another 0. Uh, so that would be, boom, what is it? Getting a bit tired of this. So 0, 36. So it's just going to be 17.066666. So you can put 
17 point okay you can put 1024 div divided by 60 equals uh, 17.06 recurring okay let me just check that on Google for you Seventeen point zero six. Okay. Um, so we'll finish off with dividing using decimal numbers, right? Because you're probably wondering about that, and I don't really want to make another video. So there it is. Um, so let's say I have twenty point five divided by six point two okay what do you do then now the important thing is we can't actually have a decimal point in the whatever number you want to call this in the uh, let me just look up the technical term in the divisor All right this is called a divisor you can't have a decimal point in the divisor so what I'm doing is I'm multiplying both the divisor and the original question by 10 so that the decimal point moves to the right in both numbers and you won't change the answer by doing that if you think about it okay what is let's say um, let's say 20 divided by 2 is 10 if you multiply both numbers by 10 and we get 200 divided by 20 what's the answer the answer is still 10 so you can multiply both numbers by 10 so then we can write out another one 205 over 62 and that will give us the same answer so then you go 62 times uh, 3 2 times 3 is 8 6 times 3 is 18 okay then you do a minus so what is it 5 minus 8 borrow a 1 so it would be uh, 10 minus 8 is 2 plus 5 is 7 now we borrow a 1 from the next digit as well so then it will be what is it well we already borrowed a 1 so that's already 1 so this was 10 now it's 9 9 minus 8 is 1 so that's the answer so you can say um, 205 divided by 62 equals 3 remainder 17 or you can keep going alright because we haven't finished yet we got a 5 here so you can put 5.0 and then you can add another 0 so you can do 62 times 2 so 2 times 2 is 4, 6 times 2 is 12 um, so what's that 170 minus 24 0 minus 4 borrow 1 from the next digit so I have 10 minus 4 is 6 6 minus 2 is 4 it's 46 um, let's do one more so add another 0 here bring it down so 6 times uh, 7 Okay, 2 times 7 is 14. Uh, 6 times 7 is 42, plus 1 is 43. Okay, so now I have 0 minus 4, borrow 1 from the next digit. So 10 minus 4 is 6, 5 minus 3 is 2. And that's it. So I'm going to say 205 divided by 62 equals uh, 3.3. .3 bracket one decimal place so I'm rounding this rounding off this number so 3.27 I'm, I'm rounding it so I'm looking at the number after the first digit so I'm looking at this number if this number is five or bigger I can round up so I can round up so it'll be 3.3 .3 bracket one decimal place so I've cut out everything after it. I've rounded this number up because 7 is 5 or bigger okay so that's how you multiply that's how you divide numbers with decimal points um, should we do an example 
I mean, should we do an exercise to help you guys? I guess so. Except I've run out of room. Let's just do it over here using this space. So let's do a 102.3 divided by 3.4. Okay, have a go at that and come back when you're done. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is multiply both numbers by 10. So I will get 1023 over 34 divided by 34. And then um, I'm going to go 34 times uh, 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. And then I don't have anything left. Bring down the 3. 34 doesn't go into 3, so put a 0. So the answer is um, 1,023 uh, divided 1,023 divided by 34 equals 30 remainder 3. Right? But if you want, you can keep going. So then it'll be... Um, Put a point zero after it. Okay, so point um, still doesn't go in there. Put another zero after it. Bring it down. So 300. Yes, this will go in. Let's put nine. Four times nine is 36. Three times nine is 27. Oops, it's gone over. So you can't do that. So it's not nine, it's eight. Four times eight is 32. 3 times 8 is 24 plus 3 is 27 okay so what do we have left um, we got 0 minus 2 borrow 1 from the next digit we can't borrow 1 from the next digit so that's a 2 that's a 9 so um, 10 minus 2 is 8 9 minus 7 is 2 so it's 28 so I'm just gonna say 1023 divided by 34 is 30.08 not sure what's after that but I'm going to round it up to 30.1 one decimal place okay I hope this video helps you guys if you have any more questions feel free to ask me in a comment and I'll probably make another video for you okay thanks for watching guys see you next time